Alright guys, I'm here to do a movie review, and this has been requested by my friend Hannah Harrison, who goes to Kenwood. Thank you H Hannah for requesting me to do this movie, because I've been wanting to do this movie for uh, quite some time, and you don't know what the name of the movie is well Finding Nemo Finding Nemo is a 2003 film and is a Disney Pixar animated film it is directed by Andrew Stanton and Lee uh, Unicrich Un I can't pronounce his name right the plot of this one is that we meet a clownfish, his name is Marlin, he's overly cautious with his son Nemo, he, and he has a, Nemo has a force short in the fin, when Nemo swims too close to the surface to prove himself, he is caught by a diver, and a horrified Marlin has to go out and find his son. And also along the way, he means a blue a blue reef fish named Dory, who has a really short memory. He joins Marlin and complicates the encounters with sharks and jellyfish and a host of ocean dangers. And Nemo plots his escape from a dentist fish tank. Now, what I think of now what I think of Finding Nemo is uh, Finding Nemo. Oh my God, this movie. Ha holds a special place in my heart. This came out in 2003. I was just a little kid when this movie was came out. So I've I loved this movie ever since. I never stopped loving this movie. The beginning of the movie with Marlon and his wife Coral, <laughs> we see we see them and and we see a barracuda attacks and then his wife Coral. I don't know, I guess is is it dead or disappeared? I don't know. But ne and then when we see Nemo Okay, Marlin is voiced by Albert Brooks. And I like Marlin. Marlin he's trying to make sure his son doesn't doesn't get hurt. And the part at the beginning when him and his son argue, which the voice of Nemo is Alexander Gold, and I thought these two were very good as father and son as the voices of Nemo and Marlin. They work off each other great, and the script is so written perfectly. No wonder this movie has a 99. This movie has it all. Ellen DeGeneres is Dory. Yes, I know there's a sequel, Finding D Dory. I don't know if I'm going to see it or what, but I'm guessing I might see it. I don't know, but I think Ellen DeGeneres, Dory is the funny part of the movie. <laughs> yeah. And yes, you also have other characters. You have William Dafoe, Dafoe is Jill. The shark, I guess. Bragger is blowed. You have bubbles. You have the school of moonfish. You have all these. You even have coral at the beginning of the film. And this movie, again, this movie holds a special place in my heart. This movie has a 99% approval rating on Ryan Tomato, so it's got universal critical acclaim. I don't think none of their their movies has been hated, except for Cars and Cars 2 and Cars 3, but I'll get to those eventually. Ugh. And nothing, I don't think th there's a single thing in this movie that people can hate. And this movie is almost close to the billion dollar mark. The movie was produced on a 94 million dollar budget and made 936.7 million dollars back. And I love the animation. The animation was very amazing. The, the way the movie looks is amazing. I love what Pixar does. They come up with all these 
different good ideas and they find a way to bring them to life in all of their movies. I, that's what to me what makes Pixar a great animation studio. DreamWorks Animation Studio is also one of my favorite studios. They produce Kung Fu Panda, Shrek, Shark Tale, but I'll get to those eventually. But um, they have produced a total of 16 movies. Toy Story, Good Dinosaur, A Bug's Life, which came out in the year I was born. I was born in 1998, so I have a very close relationship with A Bug's Life. I didn't see it as a, right away when I was a baby. I saw it I'm get, I'm, a few months later, a few years later when I was just growing up. So, yeah. I'm sorry about that. And also, have I forgot The Incredibles? The Incredibles is also very good. And I cannot wait to see the sequel to The Incredibles. Toy Story 4, on the other hand, I'm a little worried about because it's a standalone movie. Because I agree with all the fans of Toy Story. Toy Story 3 was the end. We didn't need a fourth one. I even... I'm, I may get some hate for saying this, but High School Musical 3 Senior Year was the end of the High School Musical movies. We did not need any more. But, you know, it's what it is. Again, the animation was great. The, I haven't even gotten to the musical score. I don't even want to, I don't even want to leave that out. Thomas Newman's score is oh, such incredible. The Nemo's theme is so amazing, and this was nominated for Best Original Musical Score, and this is the first film not to be scored by Randy Newman. And so, wow. So, I can't, I can see why a lot, I see why a lot of people love this movie. Even my own best friend, Hannah, loves this movie, and I'm glad Hannah request, requested me to do this. Because if 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 I did not get my get get my thoughts of this movie out quicker, then I would never get my thoughts out on this movie completely. But I'm gonna go as far as I can. And I'm gonna give Finding Nemo an epic tastic. That's how much I loved it. Me and my friend Hannah loved it. So yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this movie. Do you like the movie? Do you hate it? I, I don't see why can, anyone can hate it. But later guys. Take care. Yeah.